Stop what you're doing right now and listen to this. The future is here, and it's bringing a never-seen-before revolution. In this modern age, machines not only assist us in our work, but also mimic our abilities. But what does this mean for those of us who have always relied on 9 to 5 work? When will our skills no longer be needed? Well, this is the era of digital twins. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. The digital twin technology is like a virtual version of something real. It's a computer program that looks and behaves just like its physical counterpart in the real world. It can be a replica of an object, like a jet engine or a building, or it can mimic entire processes. So, in a nutshell, a digital twin is a virtual copy that looks and acts like the real thing. The cool thing about this technology is that it uses real-world data to create simulations. This means they can predict how a product or process will perform before it even happens in reality. Digital twins can be really smart too. Of course, to do that, they have to integrate artificial intelligence to help improve their predictions even more. How it began. The whole concept of digital twins was initially introduced in 1991 by David Gelernter in his book Mirror Worlds. At the time, he hadn't coined a name for it. The basic idea was to just create virtual replicas of physical objects and environments. Later, Michael Greaves applied this concept to manufacturing. Greaves presented the idea of the digital twin for the first time in front of the general public in 2002 after relocating to Michigan. Despite his contributions, it was NASA that ultimately adopted the concept of digital twins. It was named by NASA in 2010. They used digital twins to create lifelike simulations of spacecraft and capsules for use in quality assurance testing. In 2017, the concept of the digital twin gained even more traction after being named one of the top 10 strategic technology trends. Since then, many different types of manufacturing have adopted and implemented the idea. How exactly does this technology work? The digital twin technology works by creating a virtual replica, or twin, of a physical object or system. It starts with experts studying the physics and operational data of the original object or system. They use this information to develop a mathematical model that imitates the behavior and characteristics of its real-world counterpart. The developers of digital twins ensure that the virtual model can receive feedback from sensors that gather data from the physical object or system. This allows the digital twin to simulate and mirror what's happening with the real-world version in real time. This synchronization provides valuable insights into the performance and potential issues of the physical object or system. The complexity of a digital twin can vary based on the desired level of detail and available data. More data leads to a more precise simulation of the real-world counterpart. This technology has proven its versatility and problem-solving capabilities. For instance, digital twins have been used to improve the efficiency of offshore wind turbines. Engineers can test the turbine's robustness and refine its maintenance practices by recreating it virtually and analyzing its performance in a variety of scenarios. Digital twins have been used to model hospitals and analyze workflow processes and staffing needs in the healthcare sector. By simulating the hospital's actual working conditions, managers can improve patient care and efficiency by spotting inefficiencies, allocating resources more effectively, and suggesting new ways of doing things. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, how the rise of digital twin technology might affect the labor market. See, digital twin technology is an exciting and rapidly advancing field. In one sense, the technology can help businesses function more effectively, which would result in higher output and lower expenses. This could cause companies to need to hire more people with the necessary skills to implement this technology. For instance, as businesses increasingly use digital twins to optimize their processes, there may be a rise in demand for experts who can handle the process of digital twinning and set up the necessary equipment for the simulations. These experts will play a crucial role in creating accurate simulations and troubleshooting any problems that arise. So yeah, y'all engineers better be on the lookout. This one is for the data analysts. Those with an analytical bent and a knack for numbers will find this an exciting opportunity. Since businesses can use digital twin technology to model and study their operations, products, and services, simulating these features digitally enables the technology to gather extensive amounts of information. This information can be used to foresee the success of a product or service during its development phase. But the thing is, even with all the potential new job creations, some existing ones could be eliminated. You see, when companies use digital twin technology to automate certain tasks, they may not require as many employees to handle those tasks manually anymore. Transportation and manufacturing, the two sectors that rely heavily on manual labor, may experience job losses. To be fair, this isn't a big deal if the businesses that adopt this technology end up being more competitive. If they offer goods and services that digital twins have improved, they might experience an increase in demand. 
And guess what that means? When there's more work to be done, it usually means hiring more people. However, this is just the beginning. Digital twins can have far-reaching positive consequences. Successful businesses that adopt this technology may eventually need help from unrelated sectors. These supporting industries can spring up and offer various services related to the original business. This in turn can open the door to more employment possibilities in these fields. While fears of job losses in some sectors due to automation are warranted, the widespread adoption of digital twin technology may actually lead to an increase in employment in a variety of industries. And that wraps up today's episode. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more exciting tech news. See you in the next video.